there is a way to get the MIDI notes from an audio file and that is you're using a program called this program is basically what you do is you open it up and here well I'll show you right now we'll just take a regular audio file and and let's see if this is it and play this not no that's not <laughs> not <laughs> no that's not it that's not gonna work uh, oh here we go let's just do this one it's synth ray is that it I think that one will work we're gonna do this one alright so trans synth uh, synth array we'll do synth array so what I do you go here and do show and finder and bring up and there it is right there so it's at a CIF um, what can you open a CIF with well we can open it with um, Soundtrack Pro. So we'll go ahead and we'll open it with Soundtrack Pro. Now, you're asking why do I open it with Soundtrack Pro? Alright, so here it is. Because it's a CAF and nothing really works with the CAF. So what we gotta do is we gotta basically go File and Save As. Um, and then we change it from Core Audio File to either eighth or wave you do wave eighth and then we'll go in here audio files I think it was audio files I was using yeah synth array eighth hit that save so now we got it saved as an eighth and then what we'll do is look for that eighth file there it is right there now Let's see if we open it with um, Melodyne as the program. And so I bring in Melodyne, and you can see that it comes up with a WAV file. So, what you want to do is you want to change the algorithm because right now it's looking at it and seeing it's percussive, and you want to change it to polyphonic so it does its little alg algorithm and you can see here's the E, the B flat, E flat you know all these, you click on it and you can see if it plays oh my Melodyne is not set for the um, recording that's why it's not playing well anyways I'm trying to hurry up here and sh show you what, what I mean by so what we'll do is we'll go file since it's open in Melodyne we'll go file and then save as MIDI so check the format MIDI file and then you know or was it the audio files well it's not really an audio file what I like to do is I like to and then I will go ahead and make a new folder, name it MIDI. And that's in my project folder there. And, and I'll just synth array for the 56 MIDI. And I'll save that. Boom, done. So go ahead and close that out. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and open that folder back up. Um, where was it? Yeah, it was in here. So we hey, there's my MIDI folder, and there it is right there. So what we could do then is we could take that MIDI file. Now we could just drop it into Logic, wherever you want, and you know it's going to come up as a piano. But the cool thing is, let's go ahead and see it. You got all your notes right here, and you can move them around anywhere you want. It's in key I think um, is it did it do it in key I, I can't remember well it looks like B flat yeah E flat yeah I think it's in key so 
cool thing about this is then you can um, move it around, you can quantize it. Um, let's see if we can quantize it to something here. Looks like it's an eighth eighth note. Yeah, so we do eighth notes. Let's see what happens if we play it that way. Yeah, hello. Yeah, I got my loop on. That's why it's not doing anything. Yeah, that sounds good. You know, yeah, something something like that. So you quantize it, and then what we want to do is then we can change the piano to something cool. We can change it to, you know, let's put an EXS on here, and and we'll change it to take it from grand piano, and then put a synth in there. We'll do like a synth lead. Oh, what kind of synth lead we'll put in there? And if I can bring it up here, grand piano. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff in my synth synth leads. Classic. Yeah, it takes a while. All right, so let's see what this sounds like now. See, there you go. So that's by just taking a regular audio loop from Apple and then um, using Melodyne and changing it to MIDI. Um, I'm sure there's other MIDI programs, MIDI conversion programs, but that's the best way I know to do it because that way if I wanted to edit the, um, the notes within Melodyne, I could do it. Um, <clears throat> you also do your vocal notes as well. And I, I like to, especially like when you're doing remixes, I like to break down some of the, you know, guitar parts or single melody lines and you just figure out how the, the basic structure of the song works. You know, that's, that's that. You know, there's, there's other things you could do. So, yeah, I think I'm going to cut out now and, um, you know, you know, hit me up for some questions or something like that. I do a lot of work as a, um, a sound engineer and, um, I also do, uh, IT work. So if, um, if you're ever interested in doing the combination of the two to where you wanted a, a, a really fast computer that, that does logic, then hit me up and I can really hook you up with something so anyways it's been a fun time talking and sharing you know i hope you like this have a good night